Hey, welcome back to Triple R. I'm going to take a look at the Gargoyles card game. It's called the Stone Warriors Battle Card Game. Let's check it out. Here's the Gargoyles card game set up for two players. Uh, you take out some cards when you're playing with just two players. So the point of the game is to get six of the Gargoyle cards in front of you, face up, with nothing covering them, like a, like a sundown card. Which turns on the stone, which we'll talk about in a second. So here are the gargoyle, gargoyle cards. You have these battle cards, which are numbered. Those are your defenders. These are your attackers. You get a hand of three cards in the beginning. You have a draw pile. Start each turn, you'll draw one card. These cards are regular villains, so they can attack gargoyles and play. Um, Demona and Xanatos have special abilities. And your defense card is. Alright, Liza Maza. Here's your defense card. So she can immediately defend against villains. These two cannot be defended against. So these rules are pretty pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna actually read them. I'm gonna set the card, the camera up here, read through them so maybe you have a little more clear understanding. Now uh, let's first go over special abilities of Xanatos. So you play Xanatos to attack. You play them to the discard pile. So play to the discard pile. And you take any gargoyle card you want from any player and add it to your own collection. There is no defense against Xanatos. If a player has a gargoyle, sunrise, sundown, gargoyle on the table, you may use Xanatos to take the top gargoyle View the other two cards in front of the other player. So that sounds a little confusing, but it's not. So you play them. Say you had your opponent had Sundown on top of Goliath, but another Goliath on top. Plays Anatos. You get the top Goliath. These stay. So he just will go to you, and it goes face up in front of you. That's how he works. And I've even played Demona. Can you you play her to the discard pile? Then you can look at your opponent's hand. Take any card you want. If you take a gargoyle, play it in front of you immediately. If you take some other card, keep it to use on another turn. There is no defense against Demona. So you could look, and if you want to attack her for future attacks, you could take a jackal, or you could even take a defense card, because you cannot defend against her. So for Maza, she comes into play as defense. So not for these guys, but she can defend against Sunrise, which the opponent plays on top of your gargoyle. If an opponent plays on top of your gargoyle, turns them to stone, they're not in play anymore. So your opponent can play another one on top, or they can immediately play her, discard this. And I think you discard her, yep. Now these guys can be played to attack multiple gargoyles, so they can attack like this. I think they may be able to stack, I'm not sure, let me see. So when you attack, you can only do one or the other. One of these, if not, then you can attack with regular villains. So an attacker can defend immediately. So say you really want to keep your Goliath in play, you play her immediately, you discard. So if you can't defend, then you go through a battle phase. 
and you must fight for each separate battle for each gargoyle that's attacked by a villain. So let's just be one battle. If you had another villain play, you would do two battles. Let's just do one. So the attacker takes the red pile and the defender takes the white. So you look at your cards. So they're both one through three. Figure out which number your rival will throw. Now throw down one of your battle cards as you both yell, Stone Warriors Battle. Three beats two, two beats one, one beats three. So, we'll look like this. But you would not know. It's probably easier just to like play one face down, say Stone Warriors Battle, flip. Defense beats one, two beats one, so you've defended. If you have the winning number, you win the battle. If you're the attacker, <coughs> so if you didn't win the battle, play the three. You take the attack gargoyle, so he would come over to my side. So I say that's flipped, since so these are the attackers. But the winner gets the gargoyle. If the attacker wins, he gets the gargoyle. If the defender wins, nothing happens. If you have the same number, then you just redo it. You just do the battle again. After the battle, discard the villain that caused the fight. If you're attacked by more than one villain, keep going. Until all the battles are resolved. And then on to the next turn. The first player who makes a complete set of six different gargoyles is the winner. Remember, a gargoyle covered by Sunrise Sundown does not count. These cards. That's not a bad little game, and if you're a Gargoyles fan, I think you would like it. And it plays up to four players, so you just add more sets of gargoyles in when you have four players. So we have extra sets. So the game has you got your card draw, you have a battle phase if you want, you have some unblockable attacks, and then you have some stoppage with turning things to stone. So that's some some neat mechanics and for this for this game. Let's see. So it came out in 1994. Gargoyles, Stone Warriors Battle Card Game.